All right, let's check this out. They're arresting people for driving sober. Crazy. Sober drivers charged with DUIs are reacting in shock to what WSMB4 investigates. That's same. Insane. Tonight. Good evening. I'm 600. I'm Tracy Cornette. And I'm Marius Payton. As part of our sobering problem investigation, we've analyzed never before. Sobering problem investigation. What does that mean? Data. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley found more than 600 Tennesseans have been arrested for DUI and were completely sober. Uh. It's something you notice almost immediately. Good morning. In the body camera footage of all. I mean, yeah, that's true as hell. Like, you immediately know if someone is under the influence when you pull them over, right? Like, I'm not the only one that thinks that because. You would know if I wasn't sober and you pulled me over. 100%. Officers approaching Xavier Gray. Go ahead and turn the car off for me, okay? His hands are in the air. First of all, I'm scared of the police. Be anything to drink tonight? No, sir. But Gray, like so many other drivers who've spoken with WSMB4 investigates, wasn't concerned at first. Well, I'm going to run you yeah. some uh, this, the field sobriety test. Just make sure you're good to drive everything, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm not under the influence of anything. And he thought he performed well until this. Place me on the rest for driving under the influence, okay? Huh? I don't know. Chat, does he seem under the influence? He doesn't to me, not really. He's not doing anything like out of the ordinary. I mean, when I get pulled over, I get kind of sketched out too. It's, you know. work for a living driving a, a dump truck and this is what I do this is my whole livelihood I was really afraid about losing my license Gray is so and that that would happen that would 100% happen if you actually had a DUI you would lose your license to drive that dump truck latest person we found to be charged with a DUI whose blood work would come back showing he was completely sober for months, we've been emailing back and forth with the TBI, asking for blood work data that shows just how often it's happening in Tennessee. And it turns out we weren't the only ones asking. I mean, first of all, like if you're getting arrested for your DUI and you know you're not drunk, the first thing you need to do is tell them, hey, take me to the hospital so I can get a blood test. Right. Especially if you know you can pass it. Right. You you have to do that. You can't just go with it. You know what I mean? Seen the news stories that you all did. State Representative Lowell Russell had seen our sobering problems investigations. And after one of his constituents was arrested for a DUI while he was completely sober, he asked the TBI for the data as well. After months Good. of requests, the TBI finally produced the data. Turns out it wasn't dozens but more than 600 Tennesseans. That's crazy. Guys, that is insane. 600 people they arrested that were sober. Innocent drivers. That's 600 lives that could be affected by this, you know? Totally sober. Not cool. Charged with DUI. For perspective, if all of the sober drivers charged with DUI went to the Ryman, they would take up more than half of the seats in the upper balcony. Jeez. What do you think about that? It's a lot of people. It's a miscarriage of justice. It seems like they're doing it everywhere around the, around Tennessee, man. Nobody wants drunk drivers on the road ever. Agreed. But what does it say that we keep finding sober people being arrested for DUI? I have heard of those on a very, very limited scale, and those are, of course, tragic for everyone involved. Tragic More than tragic. That lets drivers like Gray know he is hardly alone you know what's so scary is just thinking about how hard i work to stay out of trouble right and then to have something like this happen yeah Jeremy, that is messed up this, I mean, they're just so widespread mm. hundreds of innocent people charged with crimes they didn't even commit yeah lauren we just obtained this data on friday so now we're sharing it with prosecutors and lawmakers to try to get their reaction representative russell says he wants the tbi to create a database for all crimes in tennessee showing what a person was charged with 
and whether or not they were convicted. We know sober people charged with DUI <laughs> often have their mugshots appear online. If this was yeah. created, it at least would be a public record showing what the crimes against them were dismissed. Morris. Yeah. Jeremy, you keep pushing on this story. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, that's, I mean. If you have falsely arrested him, you're I mean, that's a little messed up, right? Like, they're, they're arresting these people for being sober and you you know when someone is under the influence it doesn't matter what they're under the influence of you know you know there's no denying when someone is under the influence like it's it's just insane that 600 people got arrested right for driving sober that's insane you know we obviously don't want people drinking and driving it's tragic Bad things have happened. I know people who've been hurt from it. I know people affected by it. So, you know, it is a serious subject. But you have to have that line. Like, you have to know with a reasonable doubt that that person is drunk or sober. I mean, come on. Actions. Look at them. See if they're moving a lot. Are they flailing? They're probably on different drugs. You know, like if they're slurring their words, they're obviously drunk. If they're looking down a lot, not making direct eye contact, they're probably drunk. Whatever, you know, uh, you can't win them all. Cops can't catch everything. So it is what it is. But thought it was pretty interesting to take a look at. What do you think? Leave it in the comments below. Thank you.